Hello, this is Alan Elliott, and this is Tutorial 6, Using PROC Format. In this tutorial, we're going to look at PROC Format, how to create custom formats, and using formats. <coughs> PROC Format uh, allows you to create your own custom formats, and these formats allow you to specify information that's going to be displayed as values of a categorical variable. For example, suppose you have a variable named married, which is coded as 0 and 1 where zero means no, not married, and one means yes. You can use PROC format to assign no and yes to the zero, one values, so when the output is displayed, yes and no appear instead of the number codes. The steps for using PROC format are to create the format and then to apply the format. To create the format, we use PROC format and the value statement. So for instance here, the value statement is creates a format called FMT Married, uh, where zero means no and one means yes. Now the name FMT Married, you can use any name that you want. <coughs> I tend to use the FMT as the beginning of the name to help me uh, remember that that is a format name. Now there's a difference between numeric and character formats. In a numeric format, you assign a number to a name, and the name is in quotes, but the number is not. And when you have a character format, first of all, you have to put a dollar sign in front of the name. So notice the second example here, dollar sign FMTB, that's a character format. In this case, both values on either side of the equal sign are in quotes. So the text name is the original value, the name one is the value you're assigning. Here's some specific examples. Uh, the first example is a numeric format where we're creating a format called FMT Married, which is 0 and 1, no and yes. And the second one is a character format, dollar sign FMT Gender, where we're assigning the value M to male and F to female. You can also assign uh, ranges uh, to specific formats. Uh, and here is an example here where I'm creating a format called FMT Age, where I say low to 12, low dash 12 means go is going to mean child. And then here's a list, 13, 14, 15, up to 19 equal teen, or a range of numbers, 20 dash 59 as adult, or again, 60 dash high equal se uh, senior. So SAS understands the word low means the lowest value uh, in uh, a category, and high means the highest value. Here's a hands-on exercise on page 102. Open up the file called dformat1.sass and notice here that we're going to create uh, a format called FMT Married, 0 equal no, 1 equal yes, as we've seen before. And then we're going to use proc print to print out this information. Once you have created the format, you have to apply the format. So here in the proc print statement, Notice that there is a format statement in here. This is how we apply the format to a variable. <coughs> so in this case, we're applying the format FMT married to dot to the to the variable called married. Notice that the format name uh, has a dot after it. Every time you use a format, you have to have a dot at the end or a dot number at the end that tells SAS that this is a format name. For this exercise, I want you to add a second uh, value statement, and this one uh, to create a format for gender, FMT gender, where you're going to assign M to male and F to female. And also uh, add uh, that format to uh, the format uh, uh, assignment in the PROC print statement. So go ahead and add that code to uh, this original code, pause this tutorial, and return when you've completed this exercise. The answer you sh get should uh, be at the bottom of this slide where you see that the married column and the gender column both now have, l have descriptions rather than 1, 0, or M and F. And the code that you could have used is shown at the top of this slide. You can also assign formats to many variables. Uh, for instance, in this example, we're, f we're assigning the format FMT yes, no to the three variables Q1, Q5, and Q7. You could also use a range here, so you could say something like format Q1-Q50 to assign that format to 50 variables at once. Notice that you can assign a format either within a PROC statement 
or within a data statement. So here in PROC PRINT we've assigned the format gender and this is a temporary format. It, it's only assigned during uh, this PROC PRINT. <coughs> or we can assign the format in the data step. Uh, it's exact same uh, format assigned statement but it has a little bit of different uh, result. In this case it becomes a permanent part of that data set. Now when you create a permanent uh, format within a data step, uh, you could actually store that data, that uh, format information in a format catalog by using the statement as shown here, proc format library equal my SAS lib is my SAS library that I've already created dot some name. This topic's a little bit beyond these tutorials, but you can learn more about it on page 105 and following. You need to know the difference between formats and label. A common mistake is to use labels as formats or formats as labels. So make sure you know this difference here. Labels are descriptions for variable names, as shown in this example, for age. And formats are descriptions for values within categorical variables, uh, as shown here in the FMT married format. That's the end of this tutorial. Our next topic is going to be general SAS syntax.